This is the Elgato Stream Deck. What is, in my opinion, one of the best tool for streamers ever. It's my bread and butter, and it helps me do 90% of all the effects that I have on my stream. However, the Stream Deck, unfortunately, has a few limitations. Today, we're gonna bypass a few of those limitations with a simple little trick that I learned. Let's go. How's it going, everyone? Hope you all having a fantastic day. My name is DC Cry. I absolutely love my Elgato Stream Deck. I could not live without it. But as amazing as a Stream Deck is and the amount of things that you can do with it, there are certain pieces of software out there that can achieve just a few more things. Take Touch Portal, for example, and the complexity of the things that you can do in Touch Portal with just a simple click of a button. And as much as I love Touch Portal, I'm not always going to have my phone available for usage as a secondary Stream Deck. I'm not always going to have my phone to be able to use the buttons on Touch Portal. So for a while, I was wondering if there was a way to use my Elgato a stream deck to activate the buttons on touch portal what if we could use our stream deck to control our touch portal why would i want to do this what would be the benefit of me doing this so as far as i'm aware and correct me if i'm wrong elgato still hasn't added native support to be able to turn scene and source filters on and off you still have to do that manually and another issue that i've come across the stream deck is this awful and obnoxious lag and this delay that the multi-actions have that are still present in the Stream Deck a few years after release. I'm not sure this is an issue that Elgato could even fix. I know that there are ways to lower that delay, but not completely get rid of it. So yeah. Programs like Touch Portal don't have this issue on the multi-actions. You can even turn a bunch of filters on and off as well, and there will be like no delay whatsoever. Which in turn has led me to using my touch portal as a way of doing multi-actions instead of just using my actual stream deck. So how do we make it so our stream deck can control our touch portal? You can even do this kind of stuff with Leoran board or streamer bot if you use that as well. So first things first, open up your OBS and let's head over to make a new scene. Inside the scene, we're going to be making a dummy source. It can be an empty text source, it can be a solid color source. It doesn't matter what it is. Let's just make a color source and call it dummy. Once you're done with that, hop over on Touch Portal. On Touch Portal, click on an empty square, hop over to On Event, look for the OBS tab on the left, scroll down until you see Events, and choose On Source Visibility Change, and add it. Now select the source that we just created, in our case, it's Dummy, and change it from Becomes Hidden to Becomes Visible. Cool, now whatever action we add to this will happen whenever that dummy source becomes visible. You guys can kind of see where we're going with this, right? Next, hop over in your Stream Deck software and bring on a source switch and select the little dummy source that we just created. Now basically what's going to happen is that whenever we turn on the dummy source, Touch Portal is going to be like, yo, that source is visible, dude. Do all these things. And let me tell you this, you can have something that's so incredibly simple, such as turning multiple sources on and off, like you guys can see, or you can be like me and do something ridiculously complex. But if any of you guys have ever been in my streams, you know that my effects work pretty flawlessly. Mostly. Why the fuck you lying? But yeah, it's a pretty simple thing to do and I didn't even know you could do that up until a few months ago. But that's it friends, that's how you can make your stream deck control your touch portal. It's literally that simple. I hope this was able to help you guys and hopefully it opens up new opportunities for you guys to create really cool stuff with your touch portal. Let me know down in the comments some of the crazy stuff that you've done. But thank you so much everybody for watching, thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way, shape or form. If you guys have any questions and want to learn more, come check us out on Twitch. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Friday starting at 4 p.m. Australia West Standard Time. I'd love to see you there. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you have an amazing day and an amazing stream. Catch you all later.